Hi, my name is Dyra Banalev, Youth of the Year for the Mission Clubhouse. I have been a member of the club for three and a half years. My favorite activity would have to be drawing in the art room or doing any sort of creative art project for that matter. I also really enjoy spending time in the club's multimedia center, learning about computers and how they function. The Mission Clubhouse is such a fun, supportive environment and it really provides members with a sense of safety and possibility. My goal for the future is to graduate from high school, attend a four-year college, and continue pursuing my passion in performing arts and theater. I was in my garage doing my homework when my mom came in telling me that my father had just passed away in the car accident in Mexico. I was devastated. I did not know how to feel. I was shocked at her expression. I had never seen my mother weep. To have my mom show such vulnerability was shocking. My emotions were scattered. I did not know how to deal with them. There was a time in my life when I felt hopeless. My father passing away added on to this feeling of hopelessness. Even though at times I still struggle with my depression, I have found new hope. The Boys and Girls Club has helped me find that new hope. My name is Dyra Banales, Youth of the Year for the Mission Clubhouse. When I was two years old, my family moved here from Mexico. My parents had high hopes of crafting a better future for all of us. When I was seven, my younger brother was born. Shortly after, my father had to leave to go take care of his ill mother back in Mexico. His departure was saddening for all of us. And even more, he was unable to return to the United States. That triggered my emotions of hopelessness. I began to isolate myself, feeling unconnected with my own family. At school, it was no better. I was bullied for being different. I was judged without truly being known. My art and study skills, education in general, it saved my life. The summer before high school, my mother noticed my melancholy, so she suggested that I do some volunteer work at the Boys and Girls Club. That same summer, my father had passed away. During the toughest times of my life, the Boys and Girls Club was there for me. From the moment I became a member, I felt welcomed. Ivan, the high school service director, took me on a tour there. He showed me around and asked me what my interests were and immediately introduced me to Cheryl, the art director. I felt comfortable talking to Cheryl about what was going on in my life. And I realized that she had a similar story too. In the art room, I would be doing what I loved and feeling connected with the younger members there as well. The club, it's a place where I feel cared for and loved, just like a family. I am never criticized or judged. The club continuously shows appreciation for my actions and makes me feel like I have the potential to do anything. They provide me with a comfort zone and make me know that I do matter and they make me see that others do too. And even though I am different, the club provides me for a safe place to just be me. Depression, it's something that I will always struggle with. However, I now have hope. Hope of going to college. Hope of pursuing a career in the arts. I also have hope that I can help others deal with depression or with any problems that they may have. Standing before you today as Youth of the Year, 
is evidence that the Boys and Girls Club not only believes in me, but that I believe in myself and that I have found new hope. Thank you. Thank you.